Hello all, this is Dr. Dave Maslach talking to you about reciprocity.com. The E is written with a three. And in this particular video, I want to talk to you about four reasons why replication is important in research during your um, doctorate or your master's in your graduate school. So if you don't know me, I'm an associate professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship, and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There were so many people that helped me out that I wanted to pay the favor for it and help you out. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as I possibly can. There's people coming to look at my house. My AC unit wasn't working last night and died. Um, so they're going to come and, and look at my house. So I, I'm going to have to scoot out. So anyways, um, this is not a shaming exercise or a witch hunt or anything like that for people that don't really do this robust and reliable research. It's just something that um, I'd rather not necessarily focus on all the sort of shaming and ethical aspects of, of that kind of, um, you know, of just doing things that are more reliable. And I want to more focus on the counterintuitive benefits of replication and research, because I think it's really important. But I also think it's it's kind of an interesting thing. So, you know, replication is the idea that you can actually somebody can pick up your work and redo it and do it over and over and over again. And it doesn't matter how many times or the sort of situation, as long as it's quickly, as long as it's specified as clearly as possible, that they can replicate your research as best as um, as, as best they can. They go, they'll get the same results. So, um, you know, what are these reasons that I think are important? The first one is, is that uh, science is a community and it's all about community building. So if you want people to sort of follow your tribe and to build your research sort of trajectory, um, you have to sort of make sure that other people can build on your research. And so the more that you can make the stuff that you're doing replicable, replicable by sort of specifying the research as, as much as you can, um, it's it's going to make it easier to build your tribe and it's going to sort of you're going to be able to sort of have other people that are going to want to pick it up and do that kind of stuff in the future. So the more that you can specify things, the easier it is to build your tribe. Um, the second thing is that it just makes your life a lot easier if you focus on this kind of stuff. So. Anytime that I feel that I am, you know, wasting a bunch of time is because I'm kind of going off in different directions. But if you focus on trying to make your research more replicable, replicable, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, um, that other people can do it, it's going to focus you to do more simpler sort of relationships. And so it's also going to focus you to do more simpler sort of methods. And that's going to help you out in the long run because it's going to constrain what you're going to be able to do. You're not going to sort of do sort of really in-depth, crazy things, right? You're, you're going to be doing that anyways. It's going to be surprising how difficult it's actually going to do or it's actually going to um, be once you actually start doing this kind of stuff and trying to get your work um, published in top tier journals, you have to be really, really specific and really focused anyways, because people are going to push you that way. So you might as well start thinking about that and trying to sort of um, have your work as precise as you possibly can. That's really what it is. Just make your life um, a lot more simpler. The third thing is that you're going to forget about what you did in like weeks. So the more that you can write this stuff down and the more that you sort of are precise in what you're doing, it's going to help you remember what um, things that are cool, right? So sometimes I, and this happens to me all the time, is I'll be like, well, I did this before. Um, can I borrow what I've did before, right? So that's the whole idea with software programming. That's why we do a lot of the things we do in software programming. Um, and sometimes you just have these cool ideas and you just want to redo it. But if you don't know how to redo it because you didn't write it down, um, you're not going to be able to get to that again, right? And so that's really what you want to do. Um, the, the, the fourth thing is, is it's sort of, if you have to write too much down and it starts getting too complicated, it usually means that there's another idea there and you have another um, paper that you should write about, right? So for example, if you're doing stuff on data cleaning and the sort of what you're doing in data cleaning is just getting really too intense and you have to write down all these different steps, well, that's a cool paper about data cleaning or your specific data that you're looking at, right? So you can get into that and start talking about that. And it just helps you out in terms of what you're going to do going forward um, because it just, you know, it sort of bounds your research. It gives you sort of constraint in terms of what you're going to do. So anytime that things get too complicated um, and, and it starts veering off to the side, 
that's an indication that you probably have another paper and you should maybe focus down on what you're trying to do a little bit more. Uh, so that's all I want to talk about. I know this is quick. Um, I have somebody coming here really soon, but hopefully this was really helpful for you. Again, this is not a shaming exercise. I really don't like that aspect of, you know, the, the robust and reliable research in terms of thinking of it as a shaming exercise. That's not at all what, um, you know, I'm sort of suggesting in any sort of way. Uh, I'm just suggesting just to make your life easier, right? And also to build your tribe so that other people can sort of see what you're doing and make it more open as you possibly can. And it just helps build the community that we're looking for, right? That's, it's not a shaming exercise. It's to build a community and to, um, you know, help you out in terms of what you're doing going forward. So the more that you can simplify and make your, your work um, easy to, to build upon, the more famous, the more, you know, the, the more that you're going to get well known because of that. And if you work on those principles, it's going to really help you out going forward. All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.